Hey everybody, it's Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. So first and foremost, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of you awesome subscribers out there. We have reached a thousand subscribers, y'all. Yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I am so honored. I feel so blessed. Like I'm so incredibly grateful. This this whole reading thing has just turned out to be way more than I ever could have expected. Um, and so I really just want to, I just want to put all of my gratitude out there for you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All the beautiful comments you all, you all have been leaving, the likes, the subscribers, like we are a thousand strong, y'all. Thank you so much for journey, joining me on this journey. So <clears throat> we're going to be doing... Um, the weekly reading for the Twin Flames for this week. I am so sorry that this got out late, um, but I had a surprise event on Sunday that literally just took over my day. Um, and Sunday is usually the day that I do all of this, like the weekly stuff for the Twins. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it out today. But better late than never, right? I do apologize for that. But anyway, we're getting into it. So this is going to be for the week of March 19th through the 25th. Um, and yeah, so before I get to the reading, now we're, I'm going to do it the same way I've been doing it for the past two weeks. I'm going to do um, the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, but I want I want you guys to keep viewing these messages as um, potentially, potentially resonating with both your masculine and feminine energy. So if you feel that pull, like if you're Divine Feminine and you're, and you're now listening to the, the Masculine's reading and you feel like something resonates with you, go with it. Um, because we are really in a moment of really balancing out our masculine and our feminine energies, okay? Um, and I know that for a fact because I have felt a big shift um, for me. Now, we, have, we are going through these solar flares. Uh, that's a solar flare that happened over on the 17th, I believe it was. Um, and the energies around that have been really intense. I mean, the energies for the twins have been really intense for a while now. Um, but that solar flare really kicked up some dust, you know what I mean? Um, so, I, I, and detachment is still a thing. We're still working through detachment. And, um, and I do want to talk about that because I know for a fact, for me, as I have moved deeper and deeper into, into detachment, my connection with my twin has really like skyrocketed. Um, like it went back to the place it was when I first um, got on this journey, but now it's different because I'm able to look at it from an objective point of view, from an observer point of view, which is allowing more and more beautiful thoughts surrounding the situation, <coughs> excuse me, surrounding the situation to come about. Because instead of focusing on the negativity that's gone on between us, I'm now focusing on just the beauty of it, just how good it feels, which is then facilitating more and more thoughts around it. And so I've been getting a lot of images and, and dream daydreams about, you know, our life together and like what it could potentially look like, what we could potentially be doing, you know, like setting my intentions to really have a beneficial and nurturing and loving family life because ultimately that's what I want and I know a lot of all of us as twins we really want to settle down and have families or you know just do our thing with our family and um, so detachment has helped me see all of that stuff um, it's helped me really connect deeper with my twin because I really do understand the fact that you know this is hard for me, but it's hard for him too. He's going through his own things. Like he's he's reacting he's reacting to the energies in the way he knows how, the way he's most comfortable with. And it's definitely going to be a different than how like the the masculine energies are definitely going to react some to, to something differently than the feminine energies. Um, and so really being able to come into a place of unconditional love and compassion for that element, for that aspect, has been very healing, uh, very very um, beneficial. Um, what else? Oh, and then I have felt a shift in the um, in the dynamic. Like I still, I I still consider myself to be the feminine, the the feminine energy in the situation. But I've been really feeling more of my masculine energy coming out lately, um, and that really happened when I really like detached and just let go. Um, because detachment not only helps facilitate healing, but it also helps facilitate 
your manifestation should just flow through and things have just been flowing like crazy for me. Like it's, it's nuts. So, um, really working on this moment of detachment is so, is so great guys. It's so great. Um, and I'm glad I was able to be of service to some of you in that how do I detach video because I know it was difficult. It was hard for me. So in any way that I can help you guys is all that I ever really want to do. Um, I feel like there was one more point in there that I wanted to talk about, but will if it comes back up, I'll remember and I'll, I'll mention it. Yeah. So let's get into the reading. I'm going to start with the Divine Feminine. Um, so... Here's this deck here. So Spirit, please bring forward the best messages for the Divine Feminine Collective moving forward for this week. Mar March, I'm sorry, March uh, 19th to the 25th, yeah. Now this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Also, um, uh, these messages are timeless, so just because it's coming out through this time period doesn't mean it's strictly for this time period. It, whenever you find this, come across this message, and if it resonates with you, then it's meant for you at that time, okay? Um, so also, guys, just so you know, I am available on Instant Go if you would like to ask me a quick question. Um, the link to my Instant Go profile is in the description box below. And I am also available for private readings. So if you would like a private reading with me, you just you can just email me and we will get that going. Uh, information for some readings that I do and my email address are also found in the description box below. Okay. So, Spirit, let's get the best messages for the Divine Feminine moving forward in this week, March 19th through the 25th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Divine Feminine. Deck. Let's see what you've got going on here. Overall energy for you, Divine Feminine, is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, a lot of the, I'm definitely picking up that there's a good amount of resistance still to this whole detachment thing. And that's understandable. Um, it's hard, okay? It is not easy to detach. Um, but here, there's also resistance towards, I'm, I'm picking up that there's resistance towards doing your own inner work. Um, I feel like many of you are, or maybe I'm just connecting with some of you that have um, recently joined the journey or recently realized that you're on the journey. Um, and so you're going through the moment where you're being asked by the universe to work on yourself, okay? Okay. To work on, um, you know, building your own life, building yourself, becoming, finding your niche, finding what it is that you do in this world. Um, and it's un and it must be undertaken with, without um, it being for the sole purpose of coming back to your twin. Okay? It has to be done for you because it's what you're here to do, right? Um, I'm also picking up some resistance towards entrepreneurship. So some of you are um, are actively heeding this advice that the universe is putting forward in working on building yourself up, and you're being faced with the opportunity to to step out as a as an entrepreneur. But there's resistance in some way because you don't really know how to get there. Um, we also have the Eight of Wands for the Divine Feminine, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Empress. So Divine Feminine, you're showing up here. Um, yeah, and we have the Nine of Swords. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's anxiety. There is fear. So um, I, what I'm getting here is that those of, those of the Divine Feminine Collective that I'm, that I'm channeling right now, that I'm connecting with, a lot of you are stepping into your feminine power. Okay, but it's causing anxiety because in some cases I'm, I'm picking up that things are moving really quickly for you and you're and you're kind of like in this knight of pentacles state where you you want things to slow down and so that you have more time to plan. But it's just not. <laughs> it's just not like there are some situations where it's just like it's moving so quickly your head is kind of spinning. Okay, but what the universe is, is saying to you here is we know how th how quickly things are moving and we know it's causing anxiety and we know and all that stuff, but you need to understand that you have the power to handle this. Okay, you're much stronger than you think. And in, in many cases, 
You know, this is a very new situation to begin with. So you don't really know how to navigate things. But at the same time, the, uni the universe is like, look, it, this things are moving quickly for a reason. Uh, this could be moving quickly because, you know, you're, you've actually gotten to that place where you're, you're comfortable with detachment. And so now things are just flow flowing for you. But it's coming forward at a pace that you did not expect. So it's causing a bit of anxiety. It's causing a bit of um, frustration also is what I'm picking up here. But overall, this is a good thing. Things are flowing for you, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, the first card we're going to pull, position number one, this is your current surrounding energies. We have the King of Cups in reverse. So, um, yeah. Um, the King of Cups in reverse is talking about um, some of the Divine Masculine energy out there, okay? And... With the surround, with this being the surrounding energies, what I'm, what I've come to understand is that the king, the the negative, the the king of cups in reverse, the actions of the king of cups in reverse, are facilitating detachment. Right? We talked about this last week. Um, many of you, many of us, were saying, you know, we were kind of being pretty rebellious. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Okay, we were kind of being pretty rebellious in that um, we were saying, well, whatever. If my divine masculine isn't going to get his shit together basically and it's just gonna putz around i'm gonna go off and i'm gonna do my own thing right um and that is absolutely and if you feel that genuinely you're really genuinely feeling that feeling of whatever i'm just gonna open myself up to something because i want to i know i have all this love to give and i know my divine masculine isn't ready to do it so i'm just gonna maybe give it to someone else that is ready for it um and that was the universe's way of trying to push us towards um detachment now, so the surrounding energies of the King of, of Cups in reverse is facilitating this here with the Eight of Wands, and things are moving quite swiftly, and that is very true. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was, um, you know, this sense of giving up on your Divine Masculine. And I know for my, personally, I, I left the video last week in a state of saying, well, I'm just going to open myself up, and if my heart guides me to pursue someone else, I'm going to do it. And so my heart did guide me to at least um, think about, if not actually take action. Now, there was some action that I was guided to take, but it was more on a just a, a, a minimal interactive level, you know, just like whatever interaction on social media or whatnot, but nothing too crazy, right? Um, but in doing all that, and as I moved through the week, and as I kept thinking about, you know, oh, well, what about a relationship with this person or this person, like weighing my options, I always came down to the fact that ultimately they, they weren't my, my, my twin. And I knew at some point that I, I want to be with my twin. And should they be ready, they approach, he approached me at some point and be like, let's do this. If I'm in a, in a relationship with somebody else, I could potentially break their heart in leaving them for somebody else. And I also feel um, deceptive in the sense that like I'm getting into this relationship with somebody knowing that I want to be with somebody else. You know what I mean? Like that, to me, that didn't really, didn't really compute. Um and and just I just kept coming back to the fact that ultimately they're not my divine masculine, and he is who I actually want. So I kind of fell into a place where it's like, all right, well, um, maybe I can just like hold out now, unless someone else, unless someone really comes around and like I really feel that pull. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe it really isn't best for me to get into another relationship with somebody else right now. And to be quite honest, once I allowed myself the freedom to just even process that thought, the desire to have a relationship with someone other than my twin really just kind of dissolved and fell away. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm still open to it. Like I'm still in this moment of detachment where if it should come about, then great. Okay, cool. Like, let's just go with the flow. But I'm no longer so attached to the outcome where I have to be with my divine masculine or I have to be with somebody else. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. And ultimately that is the, the energy of detachment. Uh, releasing how things are going to happen, when they're going to happen, how they're going to come together, blah, 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 like all that stuff. So um, this is, this moment here is being facilitated by the actions of the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. So yes, it is speaking to the Divine Masculine, but in this sense, it's speaking to um, what is facilitating this detachment. 
Um, wow, that was that was a real tangent, <laughs> wasn't it, guys? Okay, moving on. In the second position, position, this is how you see your twin. But this is also we're also one. Let's keep this in the guise of how you are seeing your masculine energies, divine feminine. How you are interacting with your divine with your divine masculine energies. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, um, <laughs> I'm not seeing this as you're falling out of passion. No. What I'm seeing is that passion has been ignited, but uh, it's blocked. Um, and I know, like, over this past weekend, man, there was some <laughs> very passionate sexual energy flowing around. Um, but what I kept, what was the most, I like, and it, it, the, the most agonizing part of experiencing all of that um, especially from an objective point of view, like as I was experiencing it and I was pulling back and I was just looking at what was happening surrounding it, the most agonizing part about it was that I just can't do this right now. Like we can't, like, like there was so much energy surrounding sex and um lust for my twin and all that stuff it's and like just a desire a desire to be able to just be physically next to him is blocked and that was the most difficult part about it like i i, I would love to sit here and daydream about it all day and feel those energies but just <laughs> the knowledge that i can't do this with him right now is because we're in separation was really agonizing. So that's what I'm seeing here. It's like you have this passion for your twin, but it's blocked and you know it and it make and it just makes things even worse <laughs> in many cases. Um, but that is honestly, it's a good exercise in detachment. Um, you know, just allowing, just seeing it, as, just, just enjoying and embracing the thoughts and the feelings without having to, experience it in the physical right now is a great exercise in strength and detachment. Um, but it's, it's rough. I get it, Divine Feminine. I'm doing, I'm feeling it myself. Next, we have, where are you in relation to union? And we're going to talk about um, where you are in relation to union within yourself. Also, we have the Two of Cups. Yes, Divine Feminine. Yes. So this is definitely talking about, um, you know, facilitating union with your twin. But there are a lot of you out there, myself included, because I felt this shift in the energy. There are a lot of you out there that are really doing some seriously re serious reconciling within yourself between your masculine and feminine um, sides, halves. And that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. And keep in mind, ultimately, that will, in fact, lead to union with your twin. Um, but this, I mean, I love seeing this. I really love seeing this here for you, Divine Feminine, because um, there has been such a rift between the masculine and feminine energies within us as Divine Feminines. So um, just to see this, this reconciliation happening is beautiful. Like I'm literally seeing union within is happening for a lot of us Divine Feminines right now. I know I feel it. I definitely feel it within myself. So I know there are others out of you out there that are feeling it too. And if you're not feeling it right now, you are swiftly moving towards it, okay? Um, everything, literally everything is working. To, even, even this blockage in the Ace of Wands here, even this blockage is helping you to, to do this. And I, I don't really know how to put it into words. It's so confusing. It sounds counterintuitive. But in this case right now, what's actively going on is all of this blockage is really helping us put the pieces together in some mysterious way in which the universe works. You know what I mean? All right. And so next we have what you want your twin to know. And I'm definitely keeping this as it is. What you want your twin to know. The Queen of Wands in reverse. So... I, yes, <laughs> you are actively telling your twin, many, uh, many of us are back. We're back in this energy of the passion between us. But you know what? It's, it's blocked. And we understand that obviously because we're still in you and still in separation. Um, and I'm not, I'm, what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I'm not seeing the negative side of the Queen of Wands. What I'm seeing is the Queen of Wands holding herself back. 
Okay. It's like, yeah, I'm back in this power now. I'm back in this fire and I feel all the passion. I, in many cases, you know, you may feel even more passion than you did in the past in this situation. But here, you're finally taking the stance of, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to detach from the situation. I'm going to maintain and retain my, my Queen of Wands energy, my fire, my passion. But I'm not going to put it forward anymore. I'm just going to stand here and let it blaze. Literally. I'm not, I'm not reaching out anymore. I'm not... Um, um, I'm not... I'm going, I'm just going to stand here and let this come to me now. And however long that takes is however long that takes. Like this is literally, to me, this is the queen of wands. This is the divine feminine literally surrendering to the universe, um, surrendering to detachment, but retaining her fire. Not trying to put it out, not trying to hide it, not necessarily trying to direct it somewhere else, but literally just standing in place and surrendering to the universe. Okay, that's great. And that's also part of what this Ace of Wands is in reverse, um, in relation to how you how you um, see your twin. You are you have you're holding the Ace of Wands, but you're not doing anything with it anymore. I mean, you're just and I don't want that to mean like you you don't want this anymore. But what I'm saying is you're not taking action anymore. You're just standing there holding with the wand, um, letting it blaze, letting it illuminate you, um, and letting it attract your counterpart. Okay. I hope that came across right. Next, we have what's in your headspace. Um, what are you manifesting? What are your current challenges? Divine Feminine. We have the moon in reverse. Excellent. Excellent. So first and foremost, we're not letting the illusions get to us anymore. We're not letting the darkness scare us anymore. We're allowing to let, allow whatever darkness we find ourselves in to be like a, a spawning ground for that which we truly desire. You know, we are letting go of the illusions. We are letting go of the, um, the fight even. Um, in some cases though, the challenge is to see past the illusion of separation okay because ultimately we are not really separated we might we may we may not be in contact physically but we're still connected okay and that's what detachment detachment helps us to understand and come to terms with we're not really i mean there's no way we could be disconnected if we still feel all of this all of that you know what i mean like we have we're we're connected and so we just have to let go of the attachment towards when things are going to happen because, and just place your focus elsewhere. And it's okay to think about your twin. I mean, you're not, it's like, you're not, it's not like you're not going to think about your twin. Okay. There are still going to be synchronicities and signs that are going to constantly remind you of them. But if you can just look at that stuff and all of those thoughts and beautiful, the feelings that you have and the beautiful thoughts about the lives you could potentially have together, if you can look at that objectively and just let them flow through, you are in the flow of manifesting them. It's when you, it's when you let the moon scare you, when you let the illusion of separation scare you that you inject resistance into the situation, okay? So this is letting, the moon in reverse is definitely letting go of the resistance in many cases. Finally, for you, Divine Feminine, um, in your uh, root space, this is the uh, undercurrent, okay? And we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this is definitely talking about you not allowing yourself to be slighted anymore. This is talking about the healthy boundaries you are setting between you and your twin, okay? Um, and it's also not just, not necessarily just between you and your twin, but it's also with you and the outside world, not letting people walk all over you anymore, not letting people, al not allowing people to influence you to step out of your authenticity, right? Uh, not allowing people to influence you to be inauthentic. Um, that is a great energy, I think. Couple, so the king of... The King of Cups as the surrounding energies and the Seven of Swords reversed as the as the undercurrent. Um, the King of Cups is reversed as well. I mean, it's like you're it's like you're really taking taking these lessons that you've learned to heart and 
propelling yourself forward with it, Divine Feminine. And honestly, my heart just like exploded with all kinds of joy in even just saying that for you right now. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I definitely believe it. I'm absolutely feeling it myself. I absolutely am. Um, but then with the Nine of Swords, just let go of the anxiety. There's nothing to be anxious about. Honestly, you've come this far. You've been through so much already. Just let the anxiety fall away. Allow yourself to be to be um, surrounded by the universe, to be cuddled <laughs> by the universe. Um, the universe always has your back, no matter what. So there really is nothing to be anxious about. There's nothing to lose sleep over. Everything's going to be just fine. Alrighty, so there it is for the Divine Feminine. Let's next go to the Divine Masculine, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Divine Masculine Collective. Please bring forward the best messages for the Divine Masculine. For this week, what was that? March 19th to the 25th. Divine Masculine. What's going on with you? Divine Masculine. Also, Divine Feminine, keep in mind, and, whoa, and Divine Masculine, keep in mind that the Feminine reading could resonate with you, and also the Divine Masculine reading could resonate with you, Divine Feminine. Um, and I feel like some of you may really resonate with this, because I do feel a lot of us have been moving into this serious balance between Masculine and Feminine. Yeah. All right, so for the Divine Masculine Collective, we'll get one more shuffle. Thank you so much, Spirit. And let's cut the deck and see what we get. Okay, well, this card wants to come out. The Two of Wands. Divine Masculine. Interesting. So the Two of Wands is saying, I'm going to shuffle again. But the Two of Wands is saying that, um, you know, you're finding yourself at a choice again. So there are a lot of you Divine Masculines that are really, really now starting to face this choice between a karmic and um, your twin. And what's helping facilitate that is your, your Divine Feminine is really stepping into her power. She's really stepping into her independence. She's... She's not holding back anymore. She's going after what she wants. She's ambitious. She's driven. And that's very attractive. It is very attractive. Um, so that's good. So you're really... So now you're, you're being faced with the true choice. What do I want? Okay. I'm just going to give a few more shuffles here for the Divine Masculine since that flyer came out. And let's see what we got. One more shuffle for you, Divine Masculine. All right. Let's cut the deck here. One, two, three. Overall energy for you, Divine Masculine. You have the Eight of Wands. So we've got mirroring already, guys. In the overall energy, we've got the Eight of Wands. There is swift movement. And you know what? I really have to, I think this really has to do with the solar flare we experienced on the 17th. I mean, um, yeah, there is a lot of change happening. There is a lot of swift movement for the divine masculine. Specifically, there is a lot of communication, a lot of um, messages coming in. Look at that. That two of wands came up again. <laughs> the 10 of wands and the empress in reverse. Look at that. The, the mirroring. Okay. And this is a different deck. And then we also have the two of swords. All right. And this is a different deck here. And we've got two cards, two cards that came up for the divine feminine now in the divine masculine, but here, and the, and the empress is in the same spot too, but here the empress is reversed. So what does this mean? Don't freak out. Um, it's not as bad as you think. What's happening here is there is a lot of clarity coming in for the Divine Masculine at this time. This solar flare is really illuminating a lot of things. And a lot of the Divine Masculines that struggled with understanding why things were getting so bad and blah, 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 
is now being illuminated and he's seeing how the Empress has been turned reversed. He's been seeing, he's seeing, or she, they're seeing how, um, how twisted their view of the world and of women and of feminine energy and all of that stuff. And even their view of masculine energy has been. Um, and so they're coming to a point where they're like at the 10 of wands here where they're seeing these burdens and they're having to make a decision, but, 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 um, they're having to make a decision with the two of wands and like how to proceed, but there is still a bit of resistance here with the two of swords because um, a lot of the divine masculines or a lot of masculine energies right now are afraid of letting go of this, I don't know, this, um, this view that they've been held on to, this conditioning, really, letting go of the conditioning. Um, because a lot in a lot of cases, it's going to shake up their world like crazy. Like, it's going to change things, you know, and it's going to be, it's going to be rough. Um, there's a lot they, that they're going to have to admit to themselves um, about, you know, about themselves and about the things that they've done, some things that they've done in life and some people that they've held on pedestals and, and you know, and really really honored their guidance, but they, it, were, it was these exact individuals that they honored their guidance so much that actually helped them twist things up even more. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where the two of swords energy is coming from. It's not too heavy. It's still just a little bit of resistance in the background, but with all the swift movement that's being depicted by the eight of wands and all of the new information and the communication that's happening on an internal level, um, the, the two of swords here really doesn't worry me too much. Okay. So first, um, the surrounding energies for the Divine Masculine, we have the Page of Cups. Look at that. So in many cases, the Divine Masculine is really, he's become, he's become, he or she has become much more comfortable with their emotions and with the idea of love, true love and unconditional love. So now they're starting to feel this resurgence of love and they're wanting to make this communication. They're wanting to send, make this offer of love, but it's, it is in the page of cups. It is as a page. So it's still fresh, but it's like they're stepping into this new, um, idea, this new reality around love and being loving and sharing it and all that. So that's their surrounding energies. And, um, it is through these messages and this understanding of how they have, how uh, of their misunderstanding for the divine feminine and feminine energies and all that is, is helping them move into this new place where they can look at love in a different way and approach it differently this time from a much healthier and much, but more, much more beneficial point of view is what I'm hearing. Next we have, um, how you see your twin or even in cases, how you see, how you're interacting with your divine feminine energies for you, divine masculine, you have justice. Absolutely. Justice in reconciling with your feminine energies, divine masculine. Justice in, in seeing how your twisted view of reality has led you to um, misunderstand the empress, misunderstand the divine feminine and feminine nature, feminine nature as a whole. Okay, this is very strong and powerful and this is happening very quickly. My attention was just drawn back to the Eight of Wands. It's happening very quickly, guys. Um, so that can cause a bit of fear. Um, and, that's, and that's exactly what was leading to this Two of Swords energy. It's the fact that things are happening so quickly, okay? Um, but there's nothing to be fear. There's nothing to fear. Don't worry. Next, we have where are you in relation to union? And this will always also talk about where are you in relation into you, to union in yourself, Divine Masculine. You have the Nine of Wands in reverse. So um, to me, this is taking down the walls, taking down the defenses, um, surrendering, surrendering to the process, surrendering to your higher self, surrendering to the universe, um, not, not just fighting so hard, okay? And if you, if you notice, guys, we have the Eight, the Nine, and the Ten of Wands here. Okay, so we have progression. We have a progression here. But this is a really beneficial progression in the sense that you are now surrendering. 
or you're if you aren't doing it right now, divine masculine, you're working on it. You're getting there. You're getting to a point where you feel like you can surrender and just let things flow and really listen to what your higher self in the universe has been trying to say all along. Yeah. And it's really it's these solar flares that are helping this happen. Because we've got a lot of wands energy. It's a lot of fire, a lot of passion. So I definitely believe like this is influenced by the solar flare that we went through. <clears throat> Next, we have um, what you want your twin to know. And this is staying as what you would like your divine feminine to know. For you, the divine masculine, you have the devil here. Um, so what you're saying to the divine feminine right now is you are recognizing. And, and right under justice, you are recognizing um, the attachment that you've had to devil energy um and you are you're getting to the point where you you're you are feeling the overburdensome nature that is surrounding this attachment and you're starting to realize that the devil can't really control you if you don't give them the power to do so with justice okay so there is a victory happening happening here for you divine masculine because you are literally starting to realize just how much you have been the one that has kept yourself chained to this devil energy and no one else and you're starting to understand how that chain, that entrapment, that chaining to the chainment to the devil energy has helped to facilitate this misunderstanding of the Empress. Okay. Um, next, in your headspace, divine masculine, what you are uh, manifesting or what you, what your current challenges, even in some cases, we have the Five of Cups. This is very much on your mind right now. You are real. You are you are really in this moment of like realizing just how much you missed out on or you have you have i don't necessarily want to say it this way but this is how it's coming across in my head this is how it's being conveyed to me how you how you've messed things up the how how many mistakes you've made um but you're also, I, I'm not seeing you, I'm not really seeing too much of this woe is me energy. I'm seeing you coming to terms with it. And you're coming, you're starting to understand how your role in the situation, but also how um, the, the, the conditioning that you've accepted, that we all accept in our lives to a certain extent, has helped to facilitate this. So you recognize why the three cups have spilled, but you also recognize that you still have two cups behind you. And that's really good. That's really, really good. And if you're not necessarily there right now, Divine Masculine, you could be getting, you should be getting there quite soon because there's a lot that's changing around us right now. Finally, in your sixth position, this is the, like the undercurrent here. We have, ooh, yes, more mirroring, guys, the King of Cups in reverse. But this is not saying to me that you are actively acting as the King of Cups in reverse. No, the underlying current here is the actions that the King of Cups in Reverse has taken in the past. And so the, for the Divine Feminine, that was her surrounding energy in that that was facilitating her moving forward with this moment of detachment. For you, Divine Masculine, you're learning from it. You're starting to see the lessons in those actions. And you are now moving into a page of cups. You are starting over in the realm of love. You are starting, you are gaining a brand new understanding and are now stepping out on a new journey and gaining your foot, trying to gain your footing a little bit here. This is one of the only times where I like seeing the King of Cups in reverse because in this situation, this is facilitating learning and growth and healing and expansion and it's fabulous. Wow. You guys, the mirroring in this situation. I mean, okay, so look, we're all very much on the same page here. We're all resonating with this energy like really well. And we're all making some really great strides here. I, I mean, this couldn't be any more beautiful, guys. Um, yeah. So there it is for the Divine Masculine. I do want to, um, I want to pull some Oracle Guidance for us for this week. And I'm going to do it from the Crystal Mandala deck. So give me just a second here. Let me uh, put these away. And, all right, Spirit, please make me, please uh, bring forward the best messages for the Twin Flame Collective. For the Twin Flame Collective um, for this week. Please bring us the best messages. Spirit, thank you so much. Okay. 
best messages, please, Spirit. Oop. One. I'm hearing there are three in here. Two. One more. No, 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 no. Just one more, please, Spirit. One more, please, Spirit. Is there another one? There may not be. This message is... Okay, no. We've got them. All right, so um, let's see what we've got here. Now, I do want to take note that this card that flew out here, I fell down on my rose by my, my clear quartz, so I'm interested in seeing what that means. So, first, we have sacred pleasure. And look at that. Look at all that fire. Okay, to me, this is the twin flame fire, all right? Um, and when it comes to sacred pleasure... It, the universe, I believe, is asking us, the twins, to um, really connect with that feeling, that desire within us, and just and, and, and understand and know that this is not a connection that can be severed. And there is no such thing as real separation. I mean, we're all, we're all connected. We're always connected. This, this illusion, this separation is in fact an illusion. So it's at, so the universe is asking you to connect with this sacred pleasure on an inner level first. Okay. And really appreciate it from that point. Understand that you are, in fact, interacting with your twin when you have these feelings, when you have these thoughts and these visions. And um, it's, the universe is asking you to connect with this passion and sacred pleasure and desire and even lust on an inner level first. Don't necessarily, um, you know, spend too much time wishing for it to be... Uh, be able to be um, expressed in the physical because the more the more you focus on the fact that you're not experiencing it in the physical, the more resistance you add to it actually coming to you. Okay, so as these thoughts and these feelings are coming through you mentally and all that on the internal level, connect with it there. Okay, and just allow it to flow and just allow it to happen and enjoy it. Be grateful for it because you are in fact interacting with your twin. Okay, and then next we have, oh my goodness, <laughs> power. Wow. Look, this was the card that I told you fell on my, um, my clear quartz crystal here, and look at what it is. Power, clear quartz. Okay, so here... Um, the universe is definitely, is definitely, uh, guiding those of you that feel that resonate with it to go get yourself some clear quartz. I carry this around with me all the time. And to be quite honest, as an empath and as a, a energetic sponge, this has been like one of the greatest things ever, because if I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed by the energy around me, all I have to do is just hold on to it and it helps clear and balance and center. Um, but this is really asking us counterparts or the twins to really connect with our own inner power okay um but i really i do want to pull from the book here because i feel like there's a, a deeper message in that oh and it's card number one too that's fantastic okay let's see here card number one power archangel metatron and clear quartz together we bring you the gift of power spiritual power enables you to trust in your higher guidance no matter what appears to be happening in your life psychological and emotional power enables you to transform through evolving your belief systems and processing your emotions through which you gain wisdom physical power gives you the strength to take action on the matters that serve your life path this gift of power is safe for you to receive because you will use it to fulfill your divine destiny which in turn supports all beings so also this is clearly to me speaking to um the strength that is gained within allowing yourself to detach, allowing yourself to, yes, feel all this love and, and beautiful energy for your twin, but a, being able to not be so attached to it. That takes a lot of power. That takes a lot of strength. And the more you work on that, the stronger you'll get as an individual, because then you can release detach attachment to anything in your life and really allow it to flow. 
okay? Not being so controlling of things. It is through a lack of control that one exerts the most power because you are no longer trying to manipulate it and to make it specific. You are allowing it to come to you as it is, as it's meant to be. And that is from, and that is a very powerful thing to be able to do. But also I do want to say, reiterate that the universe is guiding a lot of you um, who are resonating with it at this point to go out and get yourself some clear quartz. Okay, it's very helpful. It's very beneficial. It does help to amplify your own inner power, right? So if you're feeling somewhat weak, you're feeling like you can't really move through this, get some clear quartz and also get some rose quartz too. That'll help to open up your heart chakra. Um, but there is a strong message coming through for the twins right now to um, invest in some clear quartz. Okay. All right, guys. <sighs> so there it is. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing. Yay, we're at a thousand subscribers, guys. Woo! I'm so happy about it. Thank you so much. I feel so blessed. I feel so honored. Um, I love you all. And I will speak with you soon. Yeah, I'll see you next week for the weeklies. But then also, I'll see you in your private reading. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.